MongoDB provides an application framework which uses fundamentally a pipeline type operation. We're probably familiar with those. For example, Unix, or for that matter, MS Windows, provides pipe operations. An example would be Unix grep, which searches for text and files. We can pipe that using an ASCII pipe character into a sort operation, which will sort the lines coming out of grep. And we can further pipe that into a unique operation, which will remove recurrent lines. All right, that's at the operating system level. We have a similar approach in MongoDB's aggregation framework with our pipeline. So we can, for example, begin with a dollar match, selecting out of our entire database and producing a stream of documents. That stream, we can then pipeline into a dollar group operation, which will group them together, producing uh, aggregates such as averages. And we can then, for example, take those and do a dollar sort operation to sort them into order. This is going to emit a stream of result documents. These are not necessarily one-to-one -one with a stream of documents. So for example, in this case, the dollar group operation emits a different set of result documents than dollar match did selecting from the database. All right, that's the principle. Now let's take a look at how we would do this, choosing to create an average speed over a period of time for a given road segment. We'll begin with the aggregate command in MongoDB. That's db.collectionName.aggregate. And this will work on the current database, which has elsewhere been selected in the MongoDB API. We now begin with our selection. This is that regular expression selection that we talked about. So we're going to select on primary ID for segment ID 20484097. This is going to bring back everything for that segment ID. We'll now do a projection of the speed. So essentially here we are choosing, based upon the documents we've selected, to pull out the speed and the segment ID. This is creating still the same stream of documents from the database, but just projecting the individual fields we want. This saves returning any of the other fields that we may not want. Then an unwind operation which loops over the data points, these individual minutes within our document, be it uh, our minute or whatever. And then finally, a group operation. This is going to create the output stream of documents, the primary ID of these being the segment ID on which we selected in the first place, and the average being produced then over these unwound data fields. So net of all this, we are going to produce a document like you see in the very bottom after the semicolon with primary ID equal to the segment and average equal to the average speed for that segment over the range for which we've selected. We can go quite a bit further with the aggregation framework. I'm not going to delve into the differences here, but we could, for example, return variance as well as average. In this case, doing everything that's needed in the aggregation framework to compute the variance based upon a mean of the differences squaring that result. So all of these advanced features are available in the aggregation framework because it is a pipeline. It wouldn't necessarily need to just be the average.